A balloon returned from a high-altitude flight this year, covered in microscopic life forms which seemed not to be of this world, and reignited the debate over whether life on Earth actually began here, or somewhere else. This year, other scientists have argued that life originated on Mars, due to a mineral found in Martian meteorites, thought to be crucial to the genesis of life. Another experiment showed that amino acids could have arrived in impacts with comets, which suggests life might be widespread in the solar system. But a new book by American ecologist Dr. Alice Silver argues that humans may well not be from Earth, and may have arrived separately. Silver offers arguments, based on human physiology, that suggest we may not have evolved alongside other life on Earth, but arrived from elsewhere, brought here by aliens as recently as a few tens of thousands of years ago. Silver, an environmentalist who is currently working with the effort to clean plastic debris from the Pacific, says his book aims to provoke debate, and is based on scientific work on the difference between humans and other animals. The Earth approximately meets our needs as a species, but perhaps not as strongly as whoever brought us here initially thought, Silver said in an interview. Lizards can sunbathe for as long as they like, and many of them do. We can just about get away with it for a week or two. We are dazzled by the sun, which is also odd, says Silver, most animals are not. Silver claims that some chronic illnesses that plague the human race, such as bad backs, could be a sign we evolved on a world with lower gravity. Silver points to other unique human traits, such as the fact that babies' heads are so large that women have trouble giving birth. In earlier eras, this was often fatal for mother, child or both. No other truly native species on this planet has this problem, he says. Silver also points out to the extra 223 genes in human beings, which are not found in any other species and to the lack of a fossil missing link. Silver chose not to publish in his scientific imprint, wanting to inspire open debate. Reviewers have compared Silver to other space-gazing theorists such as Eric von Daniken, while others have said, it is possible to drive a coach and horses through several of his arguments. Silver also claims that the human race has defects that mark us out as being possibly not of this world. We are all chronically ill, says Silver. Indeed, if you can find a single person who is 100% fit and healthy and not suffering from some, perhaps hidden or unstated, condition or disorder, there's an extensive list in the book, I would be extremely surprised, I have not been able to find anyone. I believe that many of our problems stem from the simple fact that our internal body clocks have evolved to expect a 25-hour day. This has been proven by sleep researchers, but the Earth's day is only 24 hours. This is not a modern condition, the same factors can be traced all the way back through mankind's history on Earth. Silver does not suggest one answer, but a possibility that early pre-humans such as Homo erectus were crossbred with another species. He also suggests several possible origins, including Alpha Centauri. Mankind is supposedly the most highly developed species on the planet, yet is surprisingly unsuited and ill-equipped for Earth's environment, harmed by sunlight, a strong dislike for naturally occurring raw foods, ridiculously high rates of chronic disease, and more. Plus there's a prevailing feeling among many people that they don't belong here or that something just isn't right. This suggests, to me at least, that mankind may have evolved on a different planet, and we may have been brought here as a highly developed species. One reason for this, discussed in the book, is that the Earth might be a prison planet, since we seem to be a naturally violent species, and we're here until we learn to behave ourselves.